Hi, Heather from Cardinal Creations. We're gonna start off with our March Kimberbell exclusive. Um, for those of you that are new to the exclusive end of things, um, Kimberbell does a project each month. Um, it's a digital um, download that you can get from her. Or actually, let me rephrase that. You get that from us, but it will come from her. So if you're interested in March's project, you would just contact us, um, give us your email and your information, and then the download would physically come from Kimberbell themselves. Can so um, you can purchase it, you can purchase it um, via our website. You can call us over the phone and purchase it. There are multiple ways you can purchase it. So I believe it's $10, something like that. Don't quote me, but um, March is very, very simple. Um, and what I liked about this project is Kimberbell actually goes through diff different type of embroidery, machine embroidery things. So she actually calls it her machine embroidery things. And what do I want to say, Molly? Maybe um, methods of machine mm -hmm. embroidery. Yeah. So first thing you want to do is you want to stabilize the back of your fabric um, with Kimberbell. Um, it's a fusible stabilizer that you can put on the back of your fabric. And that is really good to um, help stabilize that fabric and keep it from puckering when there's a like a satin stitch or a lot of different layers. Um, you still want to use your stabilizer. So this is an addition to the stabilizer that she calls for. And I believe it was a light mesh um, stabilizer that we used. But you want to stabilize the back of your fabric, load your light mesh stabilizer into your hoop. Um, I believe there are two sizes for this. Um, we did the bigger size. This would fit in, ideally we wanted to put this into like an eight inch embroidery hoop frame afterwards and you can hang it up. Um, did not finish this because I'm not sure what we're gonna do if we're gonna make a, maybe a pillow or, or do something else with it. But the first thing you're gonna do is your chenille. So to chenille, um, what she has you do is you use four layers of fabric. So there's four layers of this red fabric that you're gonna use. Um, she will tack, the, or your machine will tack this all down into a heart design. Um, it is a raw edge. So you, when you do trim around this, it doesn't come back to do a satin finish. It is raw edge. Um, and then there's some actual stitching lines i don't know if you can see it if i pull this back yeah, that's bit. stitched yep. through here so every so often there's going to be a diagonal stitch line when you go back to chenille this you're going to cut through three of your four layers so your bottom layer you're not going to cut through so between your stitch stripes here you're going to cut through three layers you can do this i they make a chenille cutter um, i just used a pair of my duckbill scissors i thought that worked the best for me and then to do the chenille process, um, you can take a brush, get this wet, um, kind of fluff it up, and that is called chenille. So that's a, a process that you can do in your embroidery hoop. Um, there is standard applique. So in the butterfly here, the applique process is basically you're stitching your placement line, you're placing your fabric down, you're going to trim around that, and then it will come back and do some type of a finishing stitch. So on that butterfly, we they did a satin stitch. So you have your top of your wings and the lower wings, and then you come back and you stitch the inside. So that is just what they call standard applique. Then there's decorative stitches. This is kind of fun, and you can pick out whatever colors you wanna use for your decorative stitches, but um, you'll do four different decorative stitches in your rainbow. And again, that's just using thread to do your decorative stitches. Red work, that is just a form of applique. Um, handwork red work they make but they also make machine red work and that's just basically using your um, piece of fabric and red thread so for this uh, sample you stitch out a sewing machine using red work um, or red thread um, this is piecing so this is applique but this is actually a form of piecing in your hoop or in your embroidery machine and you actually make your um, flying geese in the hoop so you're basically and she walks you through, if you follow, again, her instructions are phenomenal. She does a wonderful job with her instructions, but you actually make your flying geese blocks and then you come back and do a satin um, stitch around your block. So that's another form of something you can do inside your embroidery hoop. And then final fringe. 
Um, she is really big on fringe as far as when she does her flowers. So basically, when you do the fringe, you want to use a dissolvable bobbin. Um, there's many different brands of dissolvable bobbin um, thread out there. Um, we carry multiple different brands of dissolvable bobbin thread, but basically and she'll tell you exactly when to put that bobbin of dissolvable thread in there. Um, you basically are stitching this with, so my top here was this um, peachy color with my dissolvable thread underneath. Um, and then you come back and you do the centers. And then when you flip your project over and it, you can't see it here cause it's dissolved away, but you can see where the stitches were from that. And I literally just took, cause it was white. I took my scissors and snipped the white out from the back, cut those white threads. And then you can just lift these loops up and you have your fringe. So those are just some basic fun things that you can do inside your hoop. And these are some methods that she teaches you and you will use many times with her projects. So if you have any questions whatsoever or have any problems, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you.